Hey guys, Nick Kay here. Welcome back to the vlog. So by now you guys are probably well aware that I am a big fan of electric skateboards. And there are so many of them on the market right now, but there was one in particular that was brought to my attention by one of my best friends, Matt Casey. And that board is the Baja board. This is seriously the king of all terrain boards. What Baja board basically did was take a dune buggy, slap a skateboard to it and go there. Skateboard. So Matt and I were super stoked when they dropped us a line via Facebook and invited us to come and scope out their latest and greatest creation, the GX4. Here's what we got up to. Hey. I'm Nick Kay, nice to meet you. And that is Matt, indeed. How's it going? Hey. Nice to meet you guys. Cool, your names are? George. George and? Alessandro. Awesome. So we're Baja board, the B-A-J-A -A, pronounced as the H for the Mexican Baja Peninsula. We're Baja board and uh, we create and, and sell this amazing 4x4 uh, electric skateboard, skateboard, inverted commas, with full suspension system, with four wheel drive capabilities, with traction control and with a whole lot of adjustments and aftermarket parts which will come a bit later on. Uh, the board itself has been developed over the course of three years and we're at the moment uh, effectively smoothing out our production run and getting this to Australia, North America and Europe. Oh, and we're looking at the, uh, the good old G4, well the good new G4X. These boards are, as you probably know, four wheel drive. You've got one motor per wheel and so we can play with things like traction control, electronic differential, we can even break each individual wheel if we need to and uh, we have things like uh, uh, useless but cool things like burnout mode where you break the front wheels and you put all the power to the rear and you just rip the tires off and buy new tires but you know maybe you do that one, once the tires are nearly bold and because it's fun so there's a lot of control in there if you imagine it's like a quadcopter where you each uh, a fan or the, the, the blade is spinning and adjust to sort of hover itself we can do that with the the four wheels each uh, there's a lot of things we can adjust we can adjust the toe angle of the board in out usually it's a bit in before you stand on it and when you put the plot weight it will sort of straighten out you can adjust the camber of the wheel positive negative you can adjust the steering angle of the wheel you can adjust the rebound like a mountain bike well, it is a mountain bike shock with custom uh, springs shocks. the shock this is a 60 uh, mil travel practically when you actually ride it you might get you know 30 40 mils out of it uh, in terms of uh, bounce up and down and you can make this softer or harder by either replacing the springs or you can position the, uh, the angle of the shock in one notch or out one notch. Imagine you go all the way down to a, um, a, a mountain bike type of, type of arrangement where all the compression is adjustable. Now this is obviously going to be an option, not, not the standard, but... <laughs> The battery sits within this metallic box here and you can throw rocks at it all you want and it's nicely protected in there and there's foam paddings in there as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So with the four wheel drive uh, version, the G4X, the battery by default is 900 watt hours. With the two wheel drive G4, uh, the battery, we do have a smaller option of 600 watt hours or you can use the uh, 900 as well. And the general range for a board like the four wheel drive is about 30 Ks if you are in the order of 75 kilograms. If you're heavier, maybe 25 to 30. So it's hard to define a specific range, but you know, it, again, it depends on the terrain. If you're riding on a beach, it's gonna be different. If you're riding on just the paved road, it's gonna be a lot better. Bearing in mind, running four motors, right? Not running two motors or one motor, so there's a lot more power pumped out of the battery. All right, so let's have a look at the remote. The remote is a trigger type, like an RC car, accelerate, brake. It's got charging port at the front now some customers say they buy the board for the remote I don't know it's not my preference I like the board for the off-road capability but customers do say that um, on the actual main screen you have the speed obviously zero at the moment 
you have your board battery status, you've got your uh, controller battery status, you've got your throttle percentage, you've got lights, turn on off, you have two wheel drive, four wheel drive, switching option. Now that only applies to a four wheel drive, you obviously can't magically switch it to a two -wheel, four wheel drive on a G4. And once it's uh, stopped, you go into the menu, you can adjust a lot of things in uh, the board size. So you can adjust, for example, maximum power. If you don't want to go 60 k's an hour, you can take it down to 10 k's an hour. And this is going to be the most boring board you'll ever ride. Uh, but usually we keep it above 90 because it's more fun. Electronic differential, so that's when you turn, as you turn, the wheels spin at different rates just to make you help you turn or help you drift. You've got launch control. Again, it's like a car, the lower the number, the quicker the acceleration. If you put it to nine, it will take off like a wheelchair. If you put it to zero, it will spin wheels on command. Lights, you can adjust the brightness of the lights as well. Settings, it's more like an odometer setting. If you go in, you can see you know, how long have I ridden since I last turned the controller on. Also a parental lock. So if you're a parent or you're a friend of a, of a drunk, an alcoholic, you can always set it to 10 k's an hour and he or she cannot do too much harm to themselves. In the controller side, you get a warning, so there's a vibrator in each controller. You can preset if I go past you know, 30Ks or 40Ks or 50Ks an hour, it will vibrate in a certain way to tell me. I don't, you, know, you don't want to be looking down at the controller screen at those speeds. Uh, also, when battery level drops below a certain percent, it will vibrate another way to, to let you know. Uh, you can adjust the brightness of the screen. Nothing too fancy there. The rest of it, you can, I mean, we did multi-language yeah, ever okay. since we went to Germany. We said we had to go and do some German, and then we decided Alessandra is Italian. We do Italian, and we get the main, you know, non-English languages in there. Mm -hmm. And that's that's really the gist of the uh, of the board. And there's also cool. a cruise control, which I can only show you if we're running. Yeah. So it's a beautiful day, and the guys decided that we're going to take a bunch of boards out and um, see what they're like. Uh, come along. Oh. I'm gonna give it a bit of a bit of a kick in the guts and ah, this thing boogies. It breaks beautifully. It's so plush. It just soaks up every single bump. We're just trying to catch Alejandro. He's um, blisteringly fast. So uh, let's see if we can catch him. So right now I'm walking up a kind of a dangerously steep hill. Um, Alejandro is going to attempt to ride up this on the board. I call him crazy. He can't even walk down this and he just climbed up it and rode down it. These boards are amazing. Try out the cruise control. The lazy man's way of riding. So we've been riding on the boards for a while now. The guys have been super duper cool about it. Check it out. Say hi, Alejandro. Hey. He's the coolest. The way he rides this thing is absolutely phenomenal. A couple of cool points. Um, what don't I like about the board? Nothing. This is absolutely phenomenal. This is, uh, you know, it's not a bullshit toy commuting piece of crap. It is literally a monster in between your legs, which some of us are used to. That's a dick joke. They're just phenomenal. I, they're so capable. Having that 60 mil of travel just flattens everything. All the rolling hills just flattens them out. I, I can't tell you how filled with joy I am on these. Um, the thing is, like, I'm only riding this at maybe 60% capacity. Uh, it has the ability to go a whole heap faster, which I'm not going to do because, you know, cameras are expensive. We've probably covered, I reckon, at least seven, eight kilometers, and I'm still 
at 99% battery on this thing. That alone blew me away. I think one of the biggest fears for anyone riding on a, like a skateboard in general is, you know, the fear of coming off or hitting things on the road that make it a little uh, scary. And that's totally acceptable. But when you have a board like this, you could run over a school or a nursing home and I think you'll be fine. The speed, the pickup, the acceleration is phenomenal. I'll give it a, I'm waiting for a little stretch. Here we go, I'll give it a kick. And that is so exhilarating and so quick. The braking is phenomenal. You actually have the ability to adjust how hard you want it to brake as well. So you can have a brake so that it literally throws you off the board. You can have it soften so that when you, if you're the type of person who wants to be very hard on brakes, it's really good. And I think it kind of caters for people who, uh, you know, can adjust it and make changes to the board as they're riding because I ride an Evolve board and I, I love that thing religiously. It's my A to B, I ride it to gigs. But every now and again, a part of me goes like, man, I wish I had a little bit more in it. Uh, this has all that and a bag of chips with some like, some delicious dip. It's fair good. We just, we just got street cred from driving through a primary school. <laughs> <laughs> it's not it's not two but it's around nine isn't it and it's either diamond or hearts it's not a diamond is it correct <laughs> what oh my god so george is an amateur magician it's kind of funny and there you have it if you want to find out more about the baja board range there are links in the description below thank you guys so much for watching and hope to see you out in the trail peace out